Uh, and I'm gonna show you how you can, you can create your very own sort of Mondrian-inspired piece of art. So we started with, uh, we have here uh, just a piece of cardboard. We put down, you can use regular white paper. I like this sort of, it's this adhesive vinyl. You can get a lot of art supply stores, right? Okay. You use it for all kinds of different things. I kind of like the high gloss sheen of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what we did first is I put down a white piece on, for all you guys here. Mm -hmm. um, and then the frame we're gonna use is just an inexpensive Ikea frame. We took the matting out. And this is just so that we can kind of see what we're working on. You know what I mean? Right. So before we sort of uh, commit to our piece of art. So okay. have that. We also have different colored pieces of vinyl all cut to the same size square. You guys all have your all different colors. Mm -hmm. yep. um, Mondrian really mostly worked with red, yellow, blue, black, and white, so the primaries. So what we did, guys, just stack them up. And then as you can see here, this, the colors are all stacked up. You can do horizontal vertical lines, you can do diagonal lines, oh. and, then, and then we'll separate them, but stack them up and just literally just, just cut. There's no... There's rules. no rhyme or reason whenever Any we creatively shape we want. Any shape. Any shape. Okay. And the great thing, because if you're going to do diagonals, you want them to, to all match up. So that's why we're stacking them up like this, okay? Okay. Got it. So, got that. Sharp, Andrew. Don't cut yourself. I uh, know, you know, you know I always cut myself during these things. For cut the yourself. record, okay. I love this DIY because we're basically telling people of this country how to knock off a famous artist. <laughs> right? <laughs> But you think, you know, and everyone would think, oh my God, this is so simple, whatever. But you have to think when he did this, mm. it, it was 1920s, maybe 1927. So this was really revolutionary in the art world. Like people are like, what, what the heck is that? Yeah. Right. Um, you know, so that's kind of neat. I mean, nowadays, yes, it's, you know, you can kind of look at it because we've come so far in a lot of art, but it's sort of, it's so iconic. And you know what, even in fashion guys, You've probably seen this stuff on uh, runways. Yeah, um, just so you know. I wore this in the '90s. I had all right? those T-shirts. All that color blocking. Uh, yeah. You know, it was the, the YSL. The Yves Saint Laurent one yes. was big in the '60s. Oh, it's because that oh, was no. very '60s color blocking. Hey, Stephen, right? how much will one of these paintings go for? Yeah. His iconic one. Like a real one painting. That I want to buy one is instead of make it. About 50 million. 50 oh. million? Yeah. I'm going back to my oh. exacto knife. Just saying, yeah. there you go. So Forget ours that. will be worth just slightly less than that. <laughs> about just slightly less. About yeah. fifty cents. Yeah. So what oh, we have, guys, God. is that now you can just start laying the pieces out again. Like I said, this is adhesive vinyl, so it has a sticky back, and then we have these little um, cut here. These Ooh. little cards here that you can just push the vinyl down. If you don't have that, then you can just use um, uh, regular glue stick, hot glue, and paper or spray glue, okay? And again, you can do, you know, you can do anything from uh, from colors that will match your decor to... And any shape. Any oh, shape. I am royally messing with What if I have an air bubble? Oh, God. Oh! oh. oh. That's it! Oh. I've got an air bubble. If you have an air bubble, then poke it with a... Here, I'm just gonna come around here. here watch. Poke it with the knife, and then push your card down, and it'll pop out. Oh! Oh! See? Stephen answers for everything. everything. Stephen, you know I'm so doing? excited about this because I actually made my mother a knockoff Mondrian when I was 12 years old. Get out. Oh. She still has it on really? her wall. I painted it with masking tape on canvas. Oh. And I actually think that if she was offered an actual Piet Mondrian piece <laughs> in replacement, she would keep the Jesse Crooks <laughs> Once you have your stuff sort of laid out, okay. then I also have this thing here, because we want to oh, keep it really, really nice. simple, okay? This has some adhesive tape, uh, which you can get, again, every art supply store has this kind of stuff. Um, and because you don't need the glue and whatever, uh, you just, now you just take your, okay. your, uh, your tape. Okay, wait, I got, oh, these, like his. I got these fancy nails and I can't peel anything off. Can you, oh. <laughs> you know when you get those, like, you know those nails, yeah. lady? I can't yeah. even pick a coin up off of a, of a no. counter. There you go. So, thank you. See, no. and the, this, Graphic yeah, tape, guys, from the art store. Oh, it really makes those clean lines even cleaner. And Andrew, you jinxed uh, is this. this a, is can so I jinx fast. you? Can I edit fine. undo if I oh, make a mistake? Oh. Absolutely. Yeah, you can peel it back. Again, you know what? If you have just regular paper, paper, it's easier to sort of work around because you don't have the uh, the adhesive. Uh, I like this gloss there. though, it's cool. But the gloss is cool. Yeah, this and... is really cool for like a kid's room or a. Oh, yeah, totally. Or your like office. A, yeah, I was just thinking about your study, your library. Yeah. You know, and you'll study. Yes, everyone. In everyone. your sitting room. And, and then you study. always need a Mondrian there. And you know what? Look really simple. I and am messing this up royally. Three million bucks right here. Three. 
Let me do you know that? there are rules See, about the base? Do you have to start with a white base? Can you start with you know, any color? You don't have to. I just kind of like the white base because he did use a lot of, of white in his work. <laughs> um, and then it just kind of gives you an easier ground or somewhere to go, right? Um, and then when you're done, you get your little frame back up and oh. pop it in. Oh, wow. We don't have the frame what? here, but... Oh, what? Wow. So it kind of looks... That like happened. Oh, wow! I mean... See? Yeah. And it's that easy as that. That was like mine. Okay. You did well. <laughs> How did you oh, even get to the black I don't part yet? No. You did well, yeah. though. You did Sharon, good. Yours looks awesome. Put it Look at this. It looks so that. cool That's... under the frame. Well, Sharon, you did a great job. Look at that. Oh. oh. Okay. How's that? Well, huh? That looks good. Oh. And I'm kind of jealous. Yours looks like a new world. Yours is. I look like what? I was like, I can't take the sticker up with my new nails. I can't get stuff. <laughs> I can't take it off. You also did a really <laughs> large one over there, which is sort of Mondrian inspired. Oh, that one is right? unbelievable. With diagonal lines. Gorgeous. I want that in my house. How easy it is, guys. All right. I'm gonna auction this off. We're gonna start at fifty million dollars. Fifty million. 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 Fifty one 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 million.